Hi, everybody. Craig Wilkins, back here with you with another edition of The Daily Pause, a devotional of positivity and encouragement for Thursday, September 1st, 2022. As always, I pray that you not only have a very blessed day today, but also that today's devotional serves as an inspiration, a motivation, and an encouragement for you and helps put a smile on your face. If you enjoy the Daily Pause devotional, make sure you hit that like button and also follow and subscribe to the Daily Pause on my Facebook page, The Daily Pause, on my YouTube channel, Greg Wilkins, and follow me on Twitter at GregWilkins78. Also, if you know someone else who may be blessed by today's devotional, feel free to share this devotional with them and also encourage them to like, follow, and subscribe to the Daily Pause on those platforms. My goal and desire for this devotional is that every time an episode is watched, it gives you the impetus to continue to strive to be the best that you can be on any given day. And always remember, regardless of how your day is going, regardless of how your day has been, always remember that God loves you, God cares for you, and he'll always be there for you. Now let's get started with today's devotional on the first day of the last third of the year 2022, September 1st, 2022. Today's devotional is entitled, In All That We Do, Our Thank You. In the show, The A-Team, the, the leader of the ragtag group, Hannibal, always said as his catchphrase, I love it when a plan comes together. And similar, when we all do things and we give assignments or we give tasks or we give something for somebody else to do, we get a big kick out of it when everything comes to fruition it may not necessarily come the way we want it to, but it comes off great. And it's even a better feeling than when you know that everybody's given their all and they've given it their best. They've done their best. I'll give you an example. Of course, a lot of you know that I was the staff arranger for the Chapman High School Marching Band for about 10 or 11 years. And I also served as their senior brass instructor for a while as well. And every now and then I would write stand charts or I would write rewrite or reorganize or rearrange parts of the exhibition show that we're doing for that year. And we'll rehearse it and rehearse it and rehearse it and see them correct the mistakes and get frustrated on trying to trying to fix the same thing over and over again. But they still pushed and still pushed and still pushed. And to see the, the smiles on their faces amongst all the sweat when they walked off that field at the end of a competition or at the end of a practice and they're nodding their heads like, yeah, we did that thing. We got that. We did that. Now, in my head, being the meticulous nerd that I am, I'm, I'm in my head. All right. They, they crop. They dropped a couple of phrases there. They missed some notes. But when you see those smiles and when I saw those smiles and I saw the way they enjoyed what they did, I, did, I, I got out of that, that analytical mindset and just like, wow, they enjoyed that. That that inspired me and pushed me to do more for them. That pushed me and inspired me to even be greater and to do all I can and helping them to be the best that they can. And in that classroom, there was a small little, but it was a regular piece of paper, but printed on it was Ecclesiastes 9 and 10. And it says, whatsoever you find it in your hands to do, do it with your might. For your wisdom, your skills, your talent, and your abilities, you cannot take with you to the grave. It's just a reminder to all of us that whatever you do, whenever you do, in all that you do, do it with the absolute best of your ability. And we must remember also that the gifts and the talents and the abilities we have are exclusively given to us by God. Now, there are about 7.8 billion people on this planet, give or take a million or so. And we all are different shapes, sizes, we're all different creeds, different religions, but we all are the same human race and we're all designer originals by God. And we all have different abilities, different talents, different skills, and we admire a lot of them. Some of us try to emulate some of those same abilities, especially if they operate in the same field as we do. But sometimes we're often discouraged when we see somebody else excel at something that we're doing and they seem to do it like it's no problem at all. Here we are struggling to do the best we can just to give what we think is a above par uh, performance. Here comes somebody who just seems like they just rolled out of bed three minutes ago and they come in 
and just do it like that. And we just stare at him like, how in the world are you so good at that? How are you so great at that? And we start to sometimes downgrade our own ability because we see somebody else operating in our same field do it. And like, well, there's no use for me anymore. Why, why do you need me? They're doing it great. But I'll tell you why. We often have that, that mindset of trying to emulate somebody else, which is great. We always need somebody to aspire to. We always need somebody to be a mentor and to give us the encouragement. But it stops there. Because when we start to try to imitate somebody else, although they say imitation is the best form of flattery, when we start imitating and emulating somebody else, we start losing who we are. And we start give, we start to give up on the unique blueprint, the unique print that we have on that ability. You may be a singer. You may not sing like Fantasia. You may not sing like Beyonce. You may not sing like some of your favorite artists. But you're not supposed to. There's a unique ability and a unique way that you have that God has given to you to reach somebody out there. And when we start emulating somebody else, we start losing who we are. We start rejecting who we are. And it reminds me of Psalms chapter 150 in a way. It's the last chapter in the book of Psalms and it's appropriate and where it goes. It tells us to praise you, Lord. Praise God, all these people. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. And it goes down a list of things that you could praise him with and how you could praise him. Praise him in his timbrel and dance. Praise him in his string instruments and organ. Praise him upon the high cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Praise him uh, all those instruments and all these things and all these abilities. And sometimes you hear people, well, I can't, I can't dance. I sure enough can't sing. I can't play the organ. I can't play the piano. I can't play the guitar. I can't play the violin. I can't play the cello. I can't play the clarinet. I can't play the trumpet. I can't play the organ. I can't play the harpsichord. I can't play the harmonica. I can't even whistle. What do you want me to do? Whatever you can do. And it's all summed up in the last verse. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Every ability we have. And when we operate in our ability to the best of our ability, it gives glory to the originator of that ability, which is God. And when we when we operate in our best, sometimes we mess up. Sometimes we don't necessarily follow the blueprint the way it goes. But when we put our best effort into it, it gives and it sends up a praise to God. That's the best way to say thank you for everything that we have, all the abilities we have, all the gifts we have, and all the talents we have. The best way to say thank you to God is to simply operate in them to the best of our ability. One of my dear mentors and my brothers in Christ, Elder Corey Swindler, put dropped this nugget into my, my heart, my heart this time last year. And he said, good, better, best. Never stop until your good becomes better. And your better becomes best. In all that you do, I don't care if it's just wiping off the counter in your house. That's what you're in charge of. I don't care if it's cutting the grass every week. I don't care if it's digging ditches. I don't care if it's washing dishes. I don't care if you are a surgeon. I don't care if you are a teacher. I don't care if you're an architect. I don't care if you're a composer. I don't care if you're an arranger. I don't care whatever you do. I don't care how menial you think it is. I don't care how grandiose you think it is. Whatever you do, first off, don't slight it. And, and second off, don't cancel what you can do because you see somebody else doing it quote unquote better. It doesn't mean that you don't have purpose. It doesn't mean that you don't have the, uh, a calling on you. We all have somebody that we are charged to reach. It may be the person sitting next to us. It may be the person sitting in Central Africa. It may be the person sitting in the Czech Republic. It may be somebody sitting in Japan. It may be somebody sitting in Bozeman, Montana. It may be somebody sitting in Washington, D.C. It may be the president of the United States. We don't know, but we won't know unless we continue to do our best in whatever we do. Will we mess up? Absolutely. We're not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but that's no reason to stop. Will we make mistakes? Absolutely. 
We're human, but that's no reason to stop. Will there be people who do it better than us? Absolutely. But that's no reason to stop who you are. Let's not give up on who we are. There's an ability, there's a gift, and there's a talent in you. In all that you do. All that's qualified for you to do it is to be able to breathe. As long as you got breath in your lungs, continue to strive to be the best that you can do. Because when you are doing your best, you're sending a thank you to God for, for giving you that ability. Sometimes it's not easy operating in your ability. Sometimes we don't want to operate in our ability because the, the journey's hard. The, the road is difficult. It's difficult. And we sometimes we just want to lay it down and quit. But what are we doing then? We're not honoring God for what he's given us. And we're not reaching those who need to be reached. We may not know who they are. We may not know where they are. But there's somebody who's watching you. There's somebody who's watching the way you walk, the way you carry yourself, the way you speak, the way you treat others, the way you smile at others, the way you encourage others just by being you. That is what you do. And that's what those young people did to me. When I saw them give their best in that music I wrote for them, even though sometimes they laugh at me, oh no, warm up Nazis at it again. I laughed and I smiled because I know at the end of the day, they were getting it and they were doing their best. They didn't play every note right. They didn't get every rhythm right. They didn't, every, they didn't play every phrase correctly, but they did it to their best. And when they kept doing it to their best, they it, it, it motivated them to keep doing even better and not just music, but everything else they did. And when I saw that, it inspired me to continue to do my best to not only do music, music, but encourage them in all facets of life. And it inspired me to encourage everybody else in all they do, whether it be in music, whether it be in this devotional, whether it be just smiling, whether it just be just giving somebody a handshake, give them a hug and say, hey, it's going to be OK. Whatever it is, it's interesting how your gifts will make room for you to expand your gifts and put you in front of people you never thought would you would be in front of to express your gifts to them. And when we express our gifts, just like those young people just, just poured into me to do more, when you show God thank you and the gifts he's given you, he'll bless you, he'll increase you, he'll, he'll, he'll inhabit your atmosphere and he'll expand you beyond anything else. So let's not neglect to say thank you to God but continue to do the best that you can do in all that you do and whatever you do. And don't get caught up or getting frustrated by how somebody else can do it just like that. Do your best, good, better, best. Never stop until your good becomes better and your better becomes best. That brings us to today's feature song. I mentioned Psalms 150, and this song is based off the last verse, which is, let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. And the name of the song is, let everything that hath breath. Remember, no matter what it is you do, if you have breath, that's a qualification for you to do it to the best of your ability. And whatever you do is a praise to God. When you do your best and give your best, it's a praise to God saying thank you for giving me this gift. Thank you for giving me this talent. Thank you for being patient with me while this, this gift is being nurtured and being motivated, cultivated and, and, and molded and formed in me. Thank you for never leaving me when this gift was being birthed in me. Thank you for encouraging me to keep on going with this gift, even though I'm discouraged sometimes by seeing others do it better. I thank you for what you've given me. And I thank you for giving me the imprint that, that's uniquely assigned to me. That should be our praise. That should be our thank you to God. In anything that you do, no matter how small you may think it is, and no matter how large others may think it is, continue to do your best at it, no matter what. Continue to strive to do your best in all that we do. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for continuously being there, for continuously giving us the instructions to continue to strive to be the best that we can do. We thank you for encouraging us when we're discouraged. We thank you for motivating us when we have no sense of direction. We thank you for walking with us when we have nowhere, no idea of where we're going. We thank you for continuing to stir up and give us that gift to be a blessing to not only you, but to everybody around us. And thank you, Lord, we thank you that when we bring all our gifts together into one big corporate praise, that you'll inhabit 
our praise and your habit our atmosphere and you'll change the things that are going wrong in our lives for the better. You will increase us to be a blessing to somebody else. So we thank you. We thank you for the gifts you have given us. We don't take it for granted. We will not take it for granted. We will continue to operate and be the best that we can be in all we do. In Jesus name. Amen. Now, this is the part of our devotional in which we give birthday and anniversary shout outs. And if you have a birthday or anniversary shout out that you would like to send in to be shouted out here at the Daily Pause, you can do so by leaving them in the comment section below this video. Or you can reach out to me on Facebook Messenger by email at glwilkins78 at outlook.com or text me at 864-860-1522. I'll also love to hear your comments on how you think this devotional has been a blessing to you or how I could do better at presenting the, the devotional. I'm always willing to improve myself. I also would like to hear you, not only your comments, but any topic ideas you have. Or maybe you have a song or performance that you'd like to see featured as a part of the devotional. Leave those in those same places as well. Today, we want to wish a happy birthday to a high school classmate of mine, April Forsbury, a very, very intelligent woman and that I just hope you're doing well April and a very special happy birthday to a phenomenal young lady in her own right Izzy Snyder Izzy and April I hope you're both blessed I hope that God continues to bless you with many more birthdays and enjoy your birthday on today now that's going to do it for today's edition of the daily pause I thank you so much for watching and I pray that today's devotional is an encouragement for you to not short yourself because you've convinced yourself that the abilities and the talents you have or no good because you think somebody else is doing it better than you. Never, ever discourage yourself to the point of dropping your gift. Your gift is important to somebody just because you haven't met them yet and just because you don't know where they are yet doesn't mean you're not impacting their life for the better. So continue to give your best and while you give your best, you're thanking God for the ability that you do have and he'll bless you in return to be a bigger blessing to those you are called to reach. Continue to love each other. Continue to be safe. And remember, every day there's always time to take a pause. And Lord willing, I'll see you again on tomorrow. Enjoy today's feature song, Let Everything That Hath Breath, by Joe Pace from the album Joe Pace Presents Let's There Be Let There Be Praise, released in 2001 by Verity Music. And I hope that's a blessing to you, and I hope it encourages you, no matter what it is. Just give God the praise. No matter what, no matter how small you think it is, give God the praise. Because in, in the praises you give up, He inhabits those praises and He comes down and He meets you right where you are. May God continue to cover you, increase you, and bless you in all that you do, say, and think on today. And thank you for watching today's edition of the Daily Pause. Today's feature song starts right now. Take care. God bless. And I love you all.